Hey guys, welcome back to Crown Geek. This is Shabazz. So in this video, we're going to talk about the five ways to increase security on your Google Chrome browser. So while browsing on Google Chrome or any kind of browser, you just need to make sure that you enjoy the maximum level of the security. Because if you are not secure or not using the proper security from any browser, then there are chances that the hackers or other kind of people can compromise your network or your information. So at least enjoy the whole security provided by any kind of service provider like Google Chrome. So that's all what we're going to talk in this video. And if guys you are new to my channel, then make sure you hit the like and subscribe to the channel so that you can get all such related videos in the future. Now, what are the security that we need to verify and check that those security options are OK? So let's open the Google security. So on the very right hand top, you will see the three dot click on it and then click on settings. Now here you will find privacy and security. So click on privacy and security and then you will find security option here. So click on security and now you will find three options in the safe browsing section. Enhanced protection, that is the maximum level of security which need to be enabled. So if you have been set to standard protection or no protection then make sure you just go with enhanced protection that will be providing you the extra security and protection from such kind of website and hackers. Now why you might be thinking that why there is a no protection option if it's not recommended. So the reason is like there are many kind of websites sometimes it get blocked while trying to download any kind of file or any anything. Even you trust that website, but it's still you're not able to download. So in that case, you can just disable this option. You can go with no protection, download that file, come back again and enable this back again. So what you need to keep in your mind that this option should be set to enhanced protection. So once you are done with this, we also need to check that the password saved with Google Chrome has been encrypted. So now on the very left and top, you will see you and Google click on it. Here you will find sync and Google services. Click on it. And then you will find encryption options. Encryption options. Click on it. So here you will get two options. So probably this option might be set to encrypt sync data. So you just need to verify that this option has been set, uh, set to encrypt sync password with your Google account. So this once you are done with this part as well, then we need to disable the privacy sandbox and FLOC. What it is, why exactly should this should be disabled, I won't be briefing you in lot, but it's just kind of an alternate to cookie used by the publishers and advertiser who use your credentials. So what, how to disable this? You just need to go to privacy and security again. And here you will find privacy sandbox. Click on it. The option will be displayed privacy sandbox trial. So I have already disabled in your case it should be enabled. So what you have to do is simply just disable this option. And as soon as you do this FLOC at the bottom will also be uh, disabled. So you just need to verify that these both options are being disabled. If you want to know more about it you can read it. The whole information are here. Okay. Now another thing that we need to check that your browser is only detecting those sites that are properly safe and secure. So you have to make sure that HTTPS option has been enabled on your Chrome browser. So how to do that? If you click on security, scroll down and in the advanced section, you will find a always use secure connections. So if this option has been disabled, you also need to verify that this option should be enabled. So if any kind of website that is not secure or safe, Chrome won't be opening that website. Okay. So last and not the least, we also need to check your extensions. So extension, we know that we use it for multiple purposes, like for multiple tasks. And some of them are very useful. I know even I use it, but there are many that can be harmful that contains malware. So probably you have done by mistake accidentally or you were not aware that which extension to keep and which not. So you also need to check and remove it from your browser. So how you have to do click on the three dot again on the right hand top. 
hover up to more tools and then choose extensions. Now here the list of all the extension will be displayed that is installed on your Google Chrome browser. So you have to manually look for all of them whichever you don't identify or you don't need. You just need to click on remove and just completely remove from your browser. This will even help you to increase the performance because these also occupy a lot of space while working on the computer. And this also creates some other problems like loading images issues and many other problems. So it's better to remove it whichever is not for your use or you don't identify. So that's all what you have to do to make you uh, get the more protection, the maximum level of protection. Hopefully this will help you and if yes guys make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. So I will catch you in the next video with a new topic. Thank you so much.